teacher from last year who's come back to join us this year too. Okay, Jesse, you are good to go. We can hear you. Do you want to your webcam also? Oh, Loud enough? No, no, I didn't mute myself. I hope. We're yeah, here it comes. I see Jesse Mitchell, but I don't see a picture yet. Any suggestions? <laughs> Did you have your webcam playing someplace else, like a preview window outside of Adobe Connect? I don't think so. Maybe, but I don't think so. Um, and it just shows my picture right now, doesn't it? Just this picture down here and the and that one. It says Jesse Mentor. It shows Ah, there we are. Now. Now, got it? There it is. Uh oh. We had it. Let's see what we've got here. This happened in our practice too. Did it? Ah, absolutely. Okay, let me try it. Yeah, I thought our practice went pretty well. Let's try it play. I think it is just like recording for whatever reason. That is a. No, I don't want to stop my webcam. I want it going. I came in because I thought we would get a better signal. We may not get a video. We may have to work from the uh, web thing. From the PowerPoint. If it comes on, we'll grab it. All right, yeah, let's go ahead. Okay, that's what I look like. <laughs> Except tonight I have a cold sore. I thought that would be very appropriate for a webinar, right? Um, let's move on to the next screen. Julie, how do I move that screen? How, oh, there we are. Hi, guys. We got it. It's on, right? It's on here. Is, are you receiving the video now? Uh, oh, good. Okay, great. Now I just need to be able to change the screen in the PowerPoint. I bet it's right here. Got it? Oh, never mind. Let's go back. We have it. Right here. Here. Good. Um, when I was, uh, most of my life I've been in corporate America. And in the early 90s, I finished my master's degree with more hours than anyone else ever had in college, I think. It took me that to get there. I, went ahead, I had not planned to teach. I had planned to travel all over the world. If somebody paid me to teach English as a second language, not work in a school. But at that time, they were very short of people that spoke Spanish to teach school. And so they heavily recruited me, and I went ahead and got my certification and taught in public school for a little while and said, nah, it's not for me. Went back into corporate America. And then about 2005, I came to the Galveston area. I was working in a government project. And when it finished, I asked Galveston if uh, they would like me to teach, and they said, oh, my gosh, yes. Um, when I went in, I taught English as a second language, getting any science, because we had over half of our school was ELL, and so math and reading is all that they were getting. I had had fun a bit of science when I was in college in the earlier times, and I had had a great deal of experience in the outdoors because I came, my father was very much an environmentalist and an outdoors person, and he had just always taught that all the time, the importance of the balance of nature and climate and the adaptations that animals had, that was the second nature to me. So, with my I began using environmental science to teach them vocabulary, 
concepts in science and reading and writing, as well as math, because it was easy. When Ike, the beautiful hurricane hit, um, we were all shuffled to another place. My principal knew that I had trained a good many hours in science with the Galveston Collaborative, where I had been introduced to the GLOW program by Alicia Siemens, and he asked me to please get my certification in science and start teaching the science to these very high-risk children that we had at that time. After that, because I can live in an RV and know how to live out in the outdoors with almost no support. Uh, at about that time, I found out that we had the Globe Institute and I got invited to it. And I just went wild over it. I loved it. That was the first time I ever had a Skype camera in my hand. And they introduced me and I thought, wow, what can I do with this? And thinking internationally as well as locally, almost every time I meet someone, I ask them if they'll Skype with my kids, they'll Skype with my school. If I meet someone who's from Argentina and Mexico, um, we've had some people on here from Puerto Rico and from Costa Rica and from India and wonderful places. I'm, I'm just not shy. I ask all the time. So that was that gets me down to the to the globe piece, right? That's how I got where I am today, just by following the next path. The globe training in Tyler was what really brought me to the confidence level of trying it, and we've had lots of issues with it, of course, but it's definitely been worthwhile. The initial drama and curiosity for it was to see if I could get it done and how much students would respond. I wish I had my little short video on to tell you for sure. Marcy Burns was the one that I put on this. She's in Ohio, and their biome and environment is very different than ours. So we plan to regularly share the data that we take and compare it. My students, once I Skype, with Mari, uh, I'm sorry, Marcy, wanted to be sure they were gathering their data every day so they would have data to share with Marcy. Uh, Marcy's kids are very well behaved. I really need to speak to her about classroom management. <laughs> Mine are not so well behaved, and it shows in the little video that I had. They video themselves while they're in the webinar. They video themselves when they're outside. Uh, they run the computers while we're Skyping. I don't do any of that. They do it all, so you kind of get seasick when you're watching their videos. But then we go back and review those and decide what they might have done to make it a better one. So it helps them with their presentation skills. Um, they are eager to participate. The engagement level for that. There is no one left behind. That's the main reason I do it. And Bolivar is a very limited piece of land. Most of these people have never been off of it. Many of them actually have not been to the ocean until I drove them down there, even though it's less than two miles, no matter where you live, to the water. So they have come to appreciate that area so that hopefully by Skyping and talking with other places about what they're doing to protect and learn about their areas, my students are then not by me encouraged, but by what other people are doing, they're encouraged. And they're amazed at what, for instance, Marcy's students, what the students in Cancun are doing, what the students in uh, Hamilton are doing, they're about, that's only about 500 miles away, but they're interested in what these people are doing to protect their environment. It just, it just brings it to life.